Hi, Gerardo Perez here with GP Accounting and Tax Services coming to you from our office in Hayward, California. So today we'll be covering the income portion of the US 1040 individual income tax return and that begins on line seven. So we've already covered lines one through six in our prior videos. Lines one through five are the filing statuses that you can select from when completing your return. Line six is the exemption portion of your, your return and line seven is where income begins. So just jumping right into it, uh, your W-2 income, which is provided to you by your employer, is reported on line 7 of the U.S. 1040 Individual Income Tax Return. And that's the most common form of income in the U.S. Next, number 2, is 1099s. So, uh, the most common 1099 is a 1099 miscellaneous, and you receive a 1099 miscellaneous if you are a sole proprietor or independent contractor and are paid more than $600 throughout the year then you will be issued a 1099 miscellaneous and that is reported on line 12 of the 1040. Next is 1099G. So you receive a 1099G if you have unemployment compensation throughout the year or if you receive a state refund and itemize your deductions. So for example, in 2015, if you itemize your deductions and receive a state refund, then in 2016, you have to report that refund as taxable income and that is reported on line 10 of the 1040. Next is 1099R. So you receive a 1099R for pensions and annuities and that is reported to you, excuse me, reported on line 16 of the 1040. Next here, number three, we have interest and dividends and that is reported on schedule B. So if you have a financial instrument such as a CD or a bond and receive interest income throughout the year, then that will be reported on Schedule B. Next is dividend. So if you, if you own stock and they issue a dividend throughout the year, that will also be reported on Schedule B. Next here I have sole proprietorship. So number four is directly related to A of number two, which is 1099 miscellaneous. So if you're a sole proprietor and you run your own business and are issued a 1099 miscellaneous, then that is reported on Schedule C. So it just begins with your revenue, less any expenses such as advertising, marketing, depreciation, all other income, or excuse me, all other expenses, and that will be reported on Schedule C of the 1040. Next, we got capital gains here. So an example of capital gains would be the trade of stock. So if you are trading stock throughout the year and you report a gain, then that will be reported on Schedule D of the 1040 income tax return. And one thing to keep in mind when trading stock is the length in which you hold the stock before you sell it. So if you hold the stock for more than one year and then sell it, then it will be taxed at a long-term capital gain, which is normally at a lower tax rate than if you hold it for less than a year which will be taxed at your ordinary tax rate, which is much higher than the long-term capital gain rate. Number six is passive income. Uh, an example of passive income would be a rental property. So if you own a rental property and receive rental income throughout the year, then that will be reported on Schedule E of the 1040 income tax return. I know this is a short video. We've been busting out returns all day. So I just wanted to come to you with, uh, to enhance your tax knowledge. Please subscribe below. I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday. And before you do, in fact, fill out your 1040, please consult your tax professional or reach out to me. It would be much appreciated. So subscribe below. Have a great evening, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.